A life sentence means that the offender must spend their rest of their life in prison. A life sentence always lasts for life, whatever the length of the minimum term. Hello everyone, and welcome to another video. Today we'll be looking at 5 female criminals reacting to life in prison. Yeah, you heard it right. Shayna Hubers In 2012, a Kentucky woman named Shayna Hubers allegedly shot her boyfriend, Ryan Poston, six times in self-defense. According to prosecutors, she murdered him because he wanted to end their relationship. Just hours after the incident, surveillance footage from the police interrogation room saw Hubers dancing and singing, I did it, I did it. It took the juror only five hours to determine that they believed the prosecution. In 2015, Hubers was found guilty of murder and sentenced to 40 years in prison. After it was discovered that one of the jurors had a prior felony conviction, which is unlawful in Kentucky, the trial was thrown out. Hubers wept in her attorney's lap before the verdict was read. Additionally, she mapped the phrase, I love you, to her mother. After the verdict, Austin's family issued a statement stating that it provided them serenity but not happiness. On the evening of October 12, 2012, Austin was scheduled to meet Miss Ohio 2012 Audrey Bolte for a date. Instead, the young lawyer was discovered shot six times in the forehead, back, and chest of his penthouse apartment. Diana Lovejoy Diana Lovejoy and her firearms instructor, Lawton McDavid Jr., were both found guilty on separate accounts of murder conspiracy and attempted murder. Lovejoy and her then-husband, Greg Mulvey Hill, were in the midst of a contentious divorce at the time of the incident. The parties negotiated an agreement in which they would share custody of their infant child and Lovejoy would pay Moby Hill $120,000. This payment was due to weeks after his shooting. Lovejoy and McDavid planned the crime after meeting at a gun range where she was receiving instruction. Lovejoy fainted in court after being convicted of conspiracy and attempted murder, eliciting audible gas from the courtroom. A member of her family wept and pleaded for someone to help her judge. Judge Von Klonowski vacated the courtroom so the 45-year-old could receive medical care. As paramedics took her away, it looked like she was stricken with shock. As his family watched, the 50-year-old placed his head in his hands and wept as the same jury returned guilty convictions against him. Lovejoy of Carlsbad faces at least 25 years in prison, while the shooter, McDavid, faces 50 years to life in prison. Jody Arias Jody Arias is arguably one of the most infamous women in modern true crime. She grinned in her mugshot and said, Oh holy night, while in police detention. In 2013, she was found guilty of first degree murder in the trial of her ex boyfriend, Travis Alexander. Jody Arias murdered her ex boyfriend, Travis Alexander, on June 4, 2008, shortly after they had intercourse. His body was discovered days later with 27 stab wounds and a headshot. When Travis Alexander first met Jody Arias, he believed that he had met the love of his life, but he had just met his murderer. Less than two years later, Arias stabbed him in the shower at least two dozen times and shot him in the head. Initially, she testified to the police that she had driven to Alexander's residence on June 4th. Arias claimed that they had sex and she had begun snapping photos of him in the shower, but subsequently, it was revealed that she was the murderer. A jury found Arias guilty of first degree murder, despite the defense's contention that she killed her ex-boyfriend Alexander in self-defense Following two mistrials, the judge condemned Arias to life in jail without the possibility of parole. Erica May Butts Erica May Butts and Shanila Latrice Cunningham were wheeled out of the courtroom after collapsing, sobbing uncontrollably, and hyperventilating after being sentenced to life in prison for the murder of a three-year-old girl. Erica May Butts and Shanita Latrice Cunningham had to be rescued from the floor by court officials. Three staff workers violently ejected the mother of Butts after she also yelled at her daughter, Get up and scream, I can't leave my baby in this condition. As tears reverberate from the gallery, a clerk can be heard asking if there are any EMTs in the facility. While others attempt to slow down Butts' breathing, Butts and Cunningham, both 25 years old and from Somerville, South Carolina, were towed on Friday for assaulting Serenity Richardson. They will spend the remainder of their lives behind bars. Under 2009, the infant passed away while in their care. Serenity paid a two-week visit to Butts, her godmother, and Cunningham, her mother's best friend and Butts' lover in Somerville, South Carolina. Butts revealed to Somerville police on Thursday that she lashed Serenity with a belt for urinating on the floor. By the time the paramedics arrived, Serenity was already dead and had been placed on ice and exposed to bleach in desperate efforts to revive her. The judge of the circuit court, Deidre Richardson, stated that nothing had ever touched her as deeply as the photographs of the girl's bruised body. Keandra Cook 
14-year-old Keandra Cook used the dating app to attract a perinatal, who then invited Emmanuel Purcell. Cook's ex-boyfriend, Andrew Bass, is charged with shooting Purcell during a carjacking. He survived the shooting, but she was given a 20-year prison sentence. The footage of Keandra's breakdown showed her begging to hold her mother one final time before being incarcerated. Both judicial guards immediately took her into custody. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss any of our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section below. Stay tuned, and we'll catch you in the next video.